How's it going? Not too bad. Sorry, you caught me right in the middle of the yawn. <laughs> That's um, totally okay. I totally um, feel that yawn because I had a long day today. <sighs> oh, sorry to hear that. No, it wasn't. Thank you for me. It wasn't bad. It was just a long day. It's a long one. I get that. And we're almost, we're there. It's hump day, right? So we have two more days and then off to the weekend. they're Christians, of course. They can feel excluded. This post did that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to discuss that part with you. I'm not going to go through Sam's posts with you, <laughs> um, but I, I, I can share the policy with you. And if you have specifics about, you know, things that you would like to post, if you want to review them, then we can do that. Right. I just don't want to post anything that would be harmful and and I wasn't sure what part of his was considered harmful and so I don't want to fall into that trap yeah um and seeing that it was a public post and it was already out there for the world to see uh Laura did say that she would get back to me so I guess I'll just follow up with her on this then sure but I think you're going to probably get the same response and I did talk with Laura about this and with Sam's post you know, I think that we've already shared it was, you know, there was specific direction given to Sam that Sam didn't follow. Um, and so he was aware of the parts of his post that were problematic. Um, if you feel that you have questions about posts that you would like to make, then we can talk about that and talk about specifics about posts you'd like to make. Um, but generally, I think that if you follow the rules for respectful engagement in Slack, you'll be fine. Respectful engagement. Okay, so if we went over um, the parts of his post that, that I know of, maybe you could tell me then what part of it was considered harmful so I don't repost that part of it. Is it, is you have a specific question? I'm sorry, what? Is there a specific question? Yeah, I, what specific part of that post was considered harmful? And so I could bring up the scripture, I could bring up what was it's not said. the scripture. So... It's, it's, you know, scripture is posted in the channel of all the time. I think that when we're looking at anything in there that would refer to specific individuals or make people feel excluded or less than because of their gender identity, that's there it is. problematic. So, like I said, Christina, I'm not going to go line by line with you through Sam's post. But Sam did post a third post in August that, you know, had wasn't taken down and there was no problem with it. And that was just scripture. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with posting scripture, and lots of people post scripture in the channel all the time. Okay, so um, the parts that were taken, that were the parts that were necessarily or construed as being problematic, were the ones that weren't necessarily scriptures, but something that he said specifically. Interpretation, yeah. Uh, interpretation. So just putting a scripture, there's nothing, there's nothing in the sense of like um, wrong with that. 
No, and you see in the in the channel, right? Every day people post scripture in that channel. Okay. So, like, if I was to put something in there, in 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 the, in the realm of like Matthew seven thirteen, you, you <laughs> know, in the sense of you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and the gate is wide for many that, that choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow, and the road is difficult, and only a few there find it. So, something like that would be fine. If all you're posting is the scripture and it's not excluding any individuals based on any dimension of diversity, that's fine. Okay, uh, so if there's a scripture that... So, if scripture excludes somebody on diversity, that's problematic for Intuit. But that alludes to, like, because there are scriptures that talk about, you know, that there are no adulterers or fornicators that will enter into the gates of heaven, but if you don't believe in heaven, then it's... You know, I think... When you think about what we're sharing at work, like generally, Christina, I think where you want to be cautious is when you're referring to specific individuals or groups of individuals. And so I can't, you know, like if you have specific ones, like you could send me your message and I can share like a quick, like, I think that's fine or analysis, thumbs up, thumbs down, you know. Um, but generally, Christina, like the policy, the guidelines say, that we don't allow slack messages that are likely to make people feel excluded based on their race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, et cetera. And, and whether that's scripture or not scripture. Now, if I was having a conversation and I was sharing these scriptures, um, that would be perfectly fine. Yeah, if you're having a conversation with somebody who's agreed to have a conversation like that, I think that would be fine. Yeah. If you're, you know, like, it'd be very different if you're in, like, a work meeting and you're, you know, quoting scripture at someone that might be a little bit off-putting or problematic or distracting from work. Um, if you're talking, you know, in an ICN meeting or with other folks in the Christian network and they've agreed to kind of have a conversation like that, then, you know, that could potentially be fine. I think, you know, it, it's really difficult if we're going to go yeah. like one off, like, is this, is this okay? Is that not okay? Cause we're speaking still in the hypothetical. And so if there's something that you're looking to do, that you want to talk about your strategy for, then we could do that. Um, no. Listen, you guys can ban those that troll those troll accounts if you want. <clears throat> I'm not necessarily looking for strategy. <laughs> um, I guess that sounds a little bit foreign uh, to this to this whole conversation to me. Uh, I was just looking <laughs> to find out what was considered harmful in his post, so that way I could stay away from that. But if we can't talk about it, then we can't talk about it, and I get it. All right. Um, there was one other thing Just that, watch. so, like, Eric had updated me. He said that you all had a conversation last week and that you had expressed that you'd be able to um, abide by into policies. policy is. Um, there was a question raised because there's somebody that you may be working with in the near future who does use they, them pronouns, and so... Um, I wanted to check in with you uh, because we've moved from kind of the hypothetical theoretical into an actual space. Um, and so I wanted to see if you would be able to use they, them pronouns with somebody. <laughs> um, well, that's all I had to talk about. Is there anything else that you wanted to say? I'm sorry? Oh, I was just, I, I didn't have anything else further to say. Is, is that, is that it? Yeah, no, I was asking you if you were able to use they, them pronouns with somebody because there's somebody that you may be working with, you know, in the upcoming weeks who does use they, them pronouns. And so, I, you know, I know you had a conversation with Eric last week where you said that you'd be able to follow into a policies. And so, I wasn't sure if you specifically had discussed the use of they, them pronouns, and so I just wanted to be able to include that. <laughs> I love that she's not answering. Did I lose you? Oh, no, I'm still here, um, okay. but I, I didn't have anything further. <laughs> um, but if there's anything else that you wanted to convey, I'm here.
Christina, I've asked you a question. Can you, ask, can you answer my question? I don't have anything further to add to the conversation. <laughs> uh, did you have anything that you were using to answer my question? Did I lose you? Oh, no, I'm still here, um, okay. but I, I didn't have anything further. Um, but if there's anything else that you wanted to convey, I'm here. Christina, I've asked you a question. Can you, ask, can you answer my question? I don't have anything further to add to the conversation. Nice. Uh, did you have anything that you were using to answer my question? I don't have anything further to add. Is there anything else you would like to say? <laughs> Yeah, um, I want to be clear that, you know, I'm working on a report right now, and so I'd like to be able to include your response, because I've asked you a very direct question um, about a real-life situation with somebody who you really will be interacting with, who does use they, them pronouns. And so um, my question to you is to ensure that, you know, you will be able to follow into its policies, and so I'm looking for a yes or a no. That's how you answer a question, by the way, by not answering it. Well, I think that this conversation has been great, but I don't have anything further to add. If you don't have anything else to convey, I think we're done. <laughs> I will note that you've refused to answer the question, um, and we can go from there. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. So we have into it a corporation in Ta Dallas, Texas, I believe they're in Dallas, who is setting the employee up. And, and again, there's more recordings coming, by the way. I asked for more of these uh, to show what they're doing there. Um, and uh, they're setting her up because they know that she's not they know she's not going to. Uh, she fought against their vaccine mandate. She did all of that. Uh, and, uh, you know, now they're trying they're doing this. They're specifically putting her with this person because they want her out of the company. Uh, and they're setting her up for this because they want to hurt you. They, they, you know, you watch what's going to happen. And I have the audio recordings and, uh, they, you know, th there's more, but these, these are recordings that, you know, were given to me, um, you know, and, uh, we're going to share them with, uh, uh, some relevant people that need to hear them. And, uh, I believe into it needs to get some phone calls. Uh, I believe that once I put this on uh, all the different platforms that I have access to, uh, I guarantee you that things are going to change. Things are going to change. Um, you know, go woke, go broke, right? This is the kind of stuff that we as Christians need to start doing more of. Standing up for our rights. Look, if somebody wants to be delusional and pretend, play dress up and pretend to be whatever, that's their prerogative. They can do whatever they want if they're adults. But I do not have to cater to their delusions. I do not have to deny biology. I do not have to deny my Christian faith for them. They want to call themselves they, them, be my guest. I'm not going to do it. But uh, again, we need to stop worrying about that because what are you going to do? This, I guarantee you, this person here, I guarantee you, that even under the threat of losing her job, I guarantee you that this woman will stand her ground. I guarantee it that she'll stand her ground. And most Christians would buckle. So this stuff is happening. It's very real.